Hey, what's going on guys? It's Krosama. And here we finally have, after many months of anticipation, many months of waiting, we finally have the review for the RG Full Armor Unicorn. And boy oh boy, is this kit very beautiful. But it is not without its flaws. So that's something we will tackle is not only the flaws, but we will tackle a lot of the positives, which there's a lot more positives than what there are negatives. Uh, but yeah, my initial thoughts on this kit, I can tell you right now, building it was not fun. I didn't have a great time building this at all. I think the, the most fun I had was near the end uh, when I was finishing up on, I believe, the shields. I was like, oh my God, we're almost at the finish line. And then I had to do all the decals and panel lines and everything. So Either way, it sucked, but yeah, I, I usually base kits on the level of enjoyment with the build, and I can tell you right now, this kit to me was not fun to build, but th my experience is not the blanketed experience for many. You know, you all are going to have different uh, experiences with it. It's probably be something that's going to be revolutionary because you're getting a very high-tech model kit. This kit can transform and has lots of built-in gimmicks in such a small frame which I'm, I'm very much thankful for and i'm pretty amazed with what bandai can do regardless though that's my initial thoughts uh so let's go ahead and get into the details and this video is sponsored by new type so pick up this kit and many others over at their website newtypehq.com and you can also use promo code krosama so that way you can get 10 percent off so on to the review so we're taking a look at the details on the head sculpt. Overall looking really good. You're gonna have some places for panel lining. Um, I basically just kinda chose the panel line a little bit up here as well as the front. Didn't do much on the sides of the back, uh, but you can definitely do so if you want. Uh, put a couple of little stickers right there. But uh, the front camera, well the front eyes, that's actually gonna be a sticker, then that's just kinda like what I chose. Uh, but also the um, head camera right up there in the front as well as the camera in the back are also going to be stickers, but I decided to use a little bit of paint. Um, I don't know why I didn't use any paint for the front camera, but you know, kind of is what it is. Well, I mean the uh, the front visor. Uh, it looks really good though. I love the, the just the, the unicorn. Um, what would you call it? I guess the fin, the V fin. Uh, looks really good. This one is the one that actually splits. However, you are going to get one fixed V fin for the destroy mode, and one fixed unicorn horn for the unicorn mode. And we're taking a look at the arm. So overall, it's gonna look really good. I love the marking stickers for it. Uh, I know people kind of have problems with the stickers. I do too, you know, like the markings generally don't look that great, uh, but I think they work extremely well in the unicorn just for the fact that because the kit is white, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to see the outline of the actual sticker. So let me just focus a little bit. Um, you don't really see the outline of the sticker that, you know, actually that well at all. Uh, so it's just gonna come off looking really good and that's something I can kind of appreciate. So especially at a distance, if you're looking at it on a shelf, it, it really looks like it blends in. Uh, and just, I know putting like a top coat and everything on there is going to just make it look so much better. Uh, but regardless, the overall details is looking really good, especially in the shoulders. Um, right here, you are gonna have this kind of like separation, which I can fix. Uh, I've been trying to kind of like work on it, but it, it just have that gap there permanently. Um, and then over here, you're gonna see a little bit of uh, the cycle frame on the inside of the shoulders. Eh, that kind of sucks, but hey, it kind of is what it is. Now we're taking a look at the chest. The chest sculpt is looking good. I'm, I'm just really digging it. Um, the overall separation color, once again, you get some off gray in there. Uh, but yeah, you get only a, a little small gap uh, right here within the uh, crevices where the separation actually happens, the transformation. Doesn't really bother me too much. Um, you know, I just kind of like learned to live with it, but yeah, it looks really good. And you're also gonna have this cockpit gimmick, so just be careful when lifting it. You can definitely move it upwards and reveal a cockpit in there. Unfortunately, no pilot, but you know, Benaj is up there doing some other stuff with the silver bullet. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be a pilot pilotless unicorn. So we'll take a look at the backpack. It's going to look pretty good overall. Uh, you are going to see the outline of the marking stickers a little bit better here instead of on the white. Uh, you're going to have that blue, which is very nice, the dark blue right there, as well as the bright blue. Um, you know, overall, I think the backpack looks pretty good and very much, um, you know, very stylistic. So one thing I do need to caution you on is going to be the shoulders. Um, they're very tight. Like rotating it anywhere is going to be 
Oh, it's gonna be bad. So you need to make sure that you loosen these joints up prior to actually connecting it and messing with it. That was where my fault was. I connected it and then I just kind of like started messing with it really rough. Uh, right now it's fairly loose. Um, you know, it kind of still holds its place. I can still move it up and it'll hold the weapon, no problem whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, this one's still a little bit tight. So I've been kind of like just working it uh, just here and there, just trying to make sure I can um, loosen up that joint. And we'll take a look at the waist. So nothing really too special. Uh, looks pretty damn good overall. I am liking all the details. Lots of opportunities for panel lining right inside there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The marking stickers are looking really good. Uh, but yeah, not really too much to comment on. So we'll take a look at the legs. They are looking really good. Um, definitely like all the decals that you can put on there. Or marking stickers, I should say. But yeah, I think they look pretty good. Nope. No real issues. The only issue that you are going to kind of experience is going to be right up here in the thighs. Um, these parts just kind of like loosen up uh, if you're kind of messing with this. So a lot of times you need to hold it and then mess with it. But if you're not doing that, um, these parts kind of just start, you know, loosening it up and, you know, start coming apart on their own. That's going to be a problem. But you know what? It's, it's not something that's like a make or break. It's just a slight issue that you can easily resolve uh, by just holding it in place whenever you move in the, the model kit. Uh, but overall, the feet are going to be pretty cool. Um, really don't have any problems with it. You're going to have this nice blue right here. So that's that's pretty much it. I don't really have too much else to say about the legs. They, they are looking really damn good. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the articulation. The head is on a ball joint, but will be fairly limited. So that kind of sucks. Now for the arms, the arms are going to be able to go up straight like this. Uh, the shoulders are going to be just like connected loosely onto the actual uh, arm part. Uh, so you can kind of rotate it around a little bit. It does move forward about that much. And this one, because it's kind of loose now, it's it's just going to go on on its own, which sucks. But hey, kind of is what it is. Uh, and then you also going to have a rotation right here at the bicep. Really nice bend at the elbow, ball joint at the hand, rotation at the body, can move up and down, no side to side, front skirts can move up and they can move to the side, side skirts can move up as well as to the sides, back skirts can move up as well as to the sides. There's a hinge right here at the waist so the legs can pretty much move back and forth. Legs can move forward that much, can move to the side, rotation at the hip, Really nice bend right here at the knee. The feet can move back and forth as well as side to side and rotate. Now for hands, you are going to begin fists, two open hands, and two hands to grip its weapons. And you will get one Benaja Lynx pilot figure. So let's move on to the transformation. First thing we're going to do is take off the head. We're going to take the side panels off, open up these little flaps, pull down the head, push it back in with the eyes facing forward. Close the hatches back up, reattach the side panels with it facing this way, and then open up the V-fin. Next for the body, we're just going to take the backpack off, pop this piece out, extend the body, bring this back down, open up the chest piece, pull these bits out, lower down these flaps, and we can reattach both the head and backpack to the body. So it's a little bit easier just to transform the shoulder off of the arm. Uh, first thing you're going to do is lift this up, bring this part down, maneuver this about right there, and close this right on top. For the arm, you're going to want to take this part down, pull this piece out, and this piece down, and push this piece right back in. For the front skirts, you're just going to want to slide these over. Then you're going to lower this front piece for the crotch, and take this part and just raise it right up. For the side skirts, you're really just going to pull them down. And then you want to flip these back skirts up. For the legs, you're going to be pulling these little parts out right here. Pull them down and put them right back. Take these bits and pull these out. Then pull down the leg and readjust. Next, you're going to pull this part out. And for the thruster, you're just going to take this and you're going to maneuver it to where you can pull that right out there. Bend this to where it just kind of... I would just say sits right there. You don't really need to push it in or anything. Just make sure it sits pretty uh, pretty nice. Then for the feet, you're gonna take this bit right here and you're gonna apply it right up there. Pull the heel down, flip these downwards like so. And you're gonna push this part right up here. 
And lastly, coming to the backpack, you're just going to flip the beam sabers out, rotate them to where they fit like so, and then pull out the side panels. And here he is in the destroy mode. So looking very menacing. I love that green. Um, now I did actually paint a little bit of that green just to give it that sparkling kind of glitter effect. Uh, yeah, I just, I just want to add a little extra touch to it. Now let's take a look at the details. So we're taking a look at the head sculpt for the destroy mode. Overall, it's going to look pretty good. Um, now, I did use stickers for the eyes because I just became really lazy and I didn't feel like painting them. Um, also, you are going to have stickers for the gold and the, the V-fin, but, you know, I just decided I, I didn't want to lose all that little panel lining within there. So um, I went with an actual blue gold Mr. Metallic color. So really good paint overall. Looks pretty pretty good and uh, yeah I just decided to go with that and I think it came out a lot better than what I would have used for stickers and with the body exposed you know once again I am using that nice green paint in there so it's a little bit of a glitter effect so yeah I, I really do enjoy the way it looks the exposure looks pretty damn good so all throughout here you're gonna have that exposed and just the green the green color itself is going to look really damn good now for the arms, really not too much is going to change, you're just going to have this part right here that just um, opens up. Uh, the shoulders though, they are going to open up quite a bit. I, I just have a problem with uh, them sometimes that they won't actually lift all the way. You got to kind of like mess with it a little bit. Uh, but I don't think they look super damn good because of the fact that there's a huge hole gap right here. Um, I don't know, that's just kind of the way the manual states it. Unless I'm wrong, and if I'm wrong, I'll definitely fix it um, You know, once I get done. But yeah, I just don't think the, uh, the little gap right there is doing this shoulder any favors. But you know, regardless, it is still going to look really damn good. Now the waist drastically changed, so you're going to have a lot more green exposed pretty much all around. Uh, the front is just really going to look good. I, I just, I've always loved the unicorn with these little bits that come out. Uh, regardless though, it's just it's so menacing looking I, I don't know why i just i really love the overall look um the back flaps they're gonna just pop right in and out uh, with just a little bit slight touch so i would say be careful with them you're probably going to be pushing them in more than anything uh but yeah just just be careful with these whenever you handle this so that way they don't go right back in so take a look at the details on the legs. Overall, the green cycle frame is going to look really good overall. I'm loving the way it's gonna look right here on the legs. Uh, a little bit of glitter, doesn't really uh, you know, hurt it at all. And you're gonna have these parts that are just gonna always flip back in, but they should be pointing outwards just a little bit. Uh, these back thrusters are really cool. They're gonna kind of fold back in if you mess with them too much. Like if you're just kind of holding it, they will fold in. So just always make sure you readjust it if so. Uh, but regardless, you know, everything's looking really good on these legs. They're very sturdy, not loose, or really nothing than popping off, except for these sides. Occasionally, I would uh, I would pop one of these off by accident. But other than that, these legs are really sturdy. Now let's move on to the weapons. So for the weapons, the first thing we'll take a look at are going to be the beam sabers. So you're going to have four in total. Uh, these can obviously come out or you can just use them as they are here on the, uh, the forearms. Or you can take these off and plant them right in the hands. And here you're gonna have the beam magnum. So really just default weapon. It looks really good. It's always been just kind of a, uh, a pretty neat looking weapon. It's gonna have the ammo cartridge belt right here. So if you wanna plug this onto the back skirt, you're gonna have the ability to uh, peg it in with that. Uh, you're not gonna have any second ones, so you can't just have like an extra one just floating around. But you know what, if you really just don't want to use the beam uh, magnum, you can just plug in the ammo on the back skirt and you'll be fine. But regardless, it is going to be nice. You're gonna have a sticker right there for the lens, uh, but I do highly recommend you just painting that.
And next is gonna be the Hyper Beam Javelin. So really awesome weapon. You're gonna have some of that cycle frame exposed right here on these little bits. You're gonna have these beautiful uh, pink effect parts. It's also gonna have a little bit of articulation here and there, so it can move uh, basically up and down just cause it is gonna have gimmicks that connect it all together. And you can put it in a bunch of different configurations. Uh, you can also take this part off and just rotate this and then this can go underneath the uh, beam magnum as a bayonet but yeah, it's kind of like weird i don't know why you would uh do that however this looks pretty good i really like this configuration and uh, there's plenty more you can actually put it in And next you're going to have is the triple hand grenades. So you can actually lift this lever down and expose them, but they're all going to be connected. So if you really want the unicorn to hold individual ones for whatever reason, uh, you are going to have to cut them. But, you know, I, I personally wouldn't even mess with it. Just kind of like leave it here. But you're going to have these sets that's going to connect on the legs. And you can also have another set that's going to connect onto the bazookas. And here you're going to have is the Hyper Bazooka. You're going to get two of these, you're going to get two of the missile launchers, two of the grenade launchers, and you're also going to get two of the um, the grenades. But ultimately, they look really good. Uh, you're going to be putting these on the back of the full armor unicorn, and they're pretty good weapons if you just want to use them individually. Maybe not so much the grenade launchers. I don't really see people utilizing these. I mean, they can look cool and all, but it's kind of something I personally wouldn't use. Uh, but ultimately, I, I mean, I really do like the bazookas. The bazoo bazookas have always been like a really cool staple for the unicorn. I've always liked using them, but yeah, it's kind of to each their own. Uh, regardless though, these are going to be attaching on the back. And next you're going to have is going to be the Gatling guns and the shield configurations. So I just kind of left the third one out, but you are going to have three shields, two of which is going to be identical with the markings. The other one is going to have slightly different markings, which this is going to be for the back of the unicorn. And then you're going to have six of these Gatling guns are, man, they're looking really good. So very detailed. You, you really can't go wrong with the way that these Gatling guns are going to be looking. Uh, but other than that, you're going to have the transform, you know, the transformation for these shields, which is going to be very simplistic. So basically moving that out and then rotating these little psycho fins, um, you know, however you want to call these, uh, you're going to rotate these out. But yeah, they're looking really solid. And the last key component of the full armor unicorn are going to be the thrusters. So not really any articulation here. It's just pretty much just two solid pieces that they just plug in right into the back going to have nice thrusters right there uh basically just going to be two separate parts so you're going to have the red that's going to go inside the gray so very easy to paint it if you really do want to paint it different colors uh maybe it's something uh, i would do in the future but the panel lining is going to be simplistic i just kind of went with gray like i did with the rest of the kit uh just to keep it you know kind of subtle and the markings are going to look really good as well but yeah let's go ahead and put this entire thing together all right guys so this this is it i'm done i'm i'm absolutely done with this review i'm done with this kit and i know i really shouldn't be like that i should probably have a lot more energy and positivity about this kit but this is my problem this kit has given me nothing but headaches, problems, and just unsatisfaction. The entire construction, review, photos, all of that. Um, and, and let me let me just kind of bring all that together into this final review. Aesthetically, it is beautiful. Oh, just like straight gorgeous. I want to buy another playing base, like this little base it's on. I want to buy another one just for this kit for a pose that's fairly similar to this. I'm gonna take my breath real quick because I, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say something that uh, I'm, I'm gonna regret. But 
this kit is just not stable. And I know some people are giving me that shock Pikachu face. They're probably just just exploding with diarrhea within their seat just for loads of just oh my god the shock value but yes this kit at least to me is unstable and it's probably one of the most unstable real grades i have ever built to date and i kind of skipped over the double o series so i haven't built every single rg but and i'm gonna, I'm gonna make a i'm gonna make a big comparison the stableness between this is like horrible in comparison to even the real grade Zeta. And I, I know, I talked to a lot of people. I talked to so many people about this kit. And I've seen many reviews just absolutely praising the RG Unicorn. And you know what? Maybe the RG Unicorn by itself really isn't too bad. But even the RG Unicorn by itself, it's it's still a lot like pieces just constantly fall off so, like, to me to my personal viewpoint this is the prime definition of a hand grenade like i cannot hold this kit without things falling apart i'm kind of more i guess talking about the full armor unicorn at this point um but god like when things want to stay on they stay on he can keep poses for what i feel forever and that's good but the process to get him in these like kind of poses, very dynamic poses with all this equipment on him, oh my god, like I, I really wanted to bust out the glue and just start gluing things. And I might actually do that. I might get to the point where I'm just gonna start gluing the uh, the funnel tanks, uh, well not the funnel tanks, the fuel tanks into the sockets where they belong because they just, they fall out. Um, the ammo, like the ammo cartridges that goes to the hyper bazooka, I'm gonna just glue that to it because that falls out. Um, there's certain parts on the shoulders, those fall out. The uh, little flaps on the back skirts, those fall out. Just so on and so forth. So this is this is what I'm gonna leave you with. This kit is possibly the most beautiful RG I've ever seen in my entire life. Aesthetically, this there's no comparison. There's nothing that is gonna look better than the RG Unicorn Full Armor. Nothing. But I will say this. Tread, tread lightly. Tread with caution. When you're building this kit, be careful. Lube up the shoulder joints. You know, if, you, if something feels tight, don't force it. Don't, don't break the shoulder joint like I did. Just by, you know, overexert a little bit too much force. Be careful with this kit. It's, it is a little bit fragile. Maybe you need a little bit of glue. I, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, but maybe bust out a little bit of glue for certain areas for certain parts just to just to keep it intact I think when I do that when I bust out a little bit of glue um, After this review is over and I, I finally put it on the shelf I think I'm actually going to like it a little bit more uh, Just because I can probably handle it better. Nothing's gonna just start bursting out and just exploding in my hands um, Ultimately though, I, I think I've rambled on quite long enough um, if you feel offended by my uh my viewpoint as kid, I do apologize. It is my opinion. In my opinion alone, I'm not stating this as a fact. Everyone has different, you know, building styles. I, I do consider myself maybe an amateur, above amateur uh, builder. Um, but yeah, this is that's just my viewpoint. Um, other than that, though, you know what? It it is good. It is good. Um, like I said, just be careful. Um, other than that, though, you, if you do want to pick uh, pick up this kit. You can go to newtypehq.com, use that promo code CROSOM to get that 10% off, and this kit is going to come in roughly around like 5,000 yen, so it's going to be up there in the price point, um, so any extra dollar that you can save is, is definitely going to matter, so use that promo code as much as you can uh, when you're buying these kits, because uh, I'd rather y'all save a little bit of money, uh, if anything, but regardless, that's it for me. I uh, do appreciate every single one of y'all for you know jumping on this review, and I do apologize for it taking so long. I, I think I started building it in February when it was released, and I built the unicorn pretty quickly. But then when I started going to the actual weaponry, the loadout, I quit. I was like, man, this, you know, building six times Gatling gun, three times shield. I was I was not feeling it, and I just wasn't in my state of mind that I really wanted to be for this kit. Uh, but coming back, you know, after building it, I just kind of, I, I plowed through it. I just non-stop building, detailing and everything. It looks good. 
So um, that's pretty much it for me, everyone. Uh, definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Uh, but like always, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section below if you think I'm completely wrong or if you think I'm a little bit right and you probably experienced a little bit of this. But that's it for me. I'll be seeing y'all in the next review. Bye-bye.